welcome back to my channel this is Zessa Herbal Soap Skincare and Lifestyle please subscribe to my channel okay if you've not subscribed please subscribe and to my old subscribers thank you very much for those of you watching my videos thank you very much I'm very very grateful God bless you and please try and watch my videos to the end most of the time there are a lot of things that you might not get at the beginning of the video but you get them at the end of the video there are a lot of hints a lot of advices a lot of things that later on as i'm making the video i'll remember and i'll say them towards the end so it's advisable for you to watch my videos to the end okay and please lord god for those that will subscribe to my video today may you bless them whatever they are looking for may you grant them those that are looking for the fruit of the womb those, those that are looking for admission those looking for work those looking for a life partner lord god please give them in jesus name amen
so you can see it has started dissolving okay so definitely this pot will not be enough you can see my liquid soap it's looking golden and gel like so i've already cooked it remember that in your liquid soap any extra any extra uh, any extra oils can make your liquid soap cloudy so that's why i took it back to the pot to put that by the time i have my finished product i won't put too many things that will cloud it okay so i'm going to cover this now leave it for two days then we'll come back of the can see the foam this shows you that this liquid soap will foam very well okay so by the time it dissolves a little bit more than this i'll transfer it to a larger container that has a cover also and then add more water to it to the right consistency i would like my liquid soap to be okay this is how a true liquid soap is made okay so this brown color that you're seeing by the time i add more water to it to become a little bit more dilute i want to make a herbal liquid soap and you know most herbal extracts look brown they don't look they don't look uh, green is it not so so guys welcome back this soap dissolved after a day okay so this is our liquid soap i'm going to filter it now using a cheese cloth and then we'll proceed with the remaining process welcome back this is after 24 hours so i'm going to you can see our liquid soap it is okay it's foaming but it's not thick enough for me you can see it's watery okay so i'm going to have to thicken my liquid castor soap i'll be using xanthan gum so i'll be dissolving my xanthan gum and i'll be using water to do that you can actually use glycerin to dissolve it but i'll be using water just put enough water to make to be able to mix it into a thick paste or into a light paste as you can see you now stir it okay that's how i'll do it and then i'll now pour it into my liquid castor soap you can see it so i'll keep this aside i will put it in glycerin as my moisturizer So this is my glycerin, I will be measuring it out and I will be pouring it into my liquid castor soap now, okay. Oh, sorry, I poured it without you seeing it, you can actually see me, I have poured it, I have poured in my liquid, my glycerin into my liquid castor soap. So now I am ready to pour in my dissolved thickener into my liquid castor soap. Okay, I'll be putting it in, in. I'll be putting it in a little at a time and mixing as I'm doing that. Okay, the soap is already getting a little bit thicker, but maximum thickness will be after 24 hours when the gel has all dispersed and gelled up in the liquid soap that is when i will see the final thickness so i'm still staring it in as you can see um this soap has this brown color because i use neem and aloe vera you know me now i don't joke with neem everything i do my soap my even in my creams i put neem i love neem so much so it has my herbal extract already with my I added a little bit of color to deepen the brown color of the herbal extract so that it will look light brown or somehow okay so this is what I'm doing now I will not put in my perfume now to the next day I'll be using gamma plus okay this is my gamma plus okay and in here i have about 10 liters of liquid castor soup i'll be putting my preservative at one percent you can use 0 0.5 percent or one percent at 0 0.5 percent you'll be putting 50 mil but at one percent you'll be putting 100 
mules okay so i'll be putting in 100 mules of my preservative now okay As you can see, I still have some of my thickener still remaining undissolved, okay? And I had to add a little bit extra water because it was so, so thick. And even at that, you can see it is still thick, you can see. Hmm? You can see it's leaving a light trace on, okay? So, I just wanted to show you this is day two, okay? If you want to completely dissolve this thing fast, you use your whisk. This is the wix I usually use. But I do not want to use it. Okay. And I'm not in a hurry. So I can actually allow it take its time and dissolve. In its own rate. At its own rate. So I believe by tomorrow. This would have. The thickener would have dissolved completely. Now I'll be adding in my perfume. You always add in your perfume last before packaging so that you don't lose some of the scent. This perfume has a strong scent so that so I won't be putting in much. Okay. To get a special scent, you can use a combination of one or more perfumes. That way, so you can use a combination of two or more perfumes. That way it will be difficult for another person to copy your scent, okay? And as you can see, the perfume significantly traced or thickened my liquid soap, but that is not a problem for me. Not all look, not all perfumes do this, okay? Just as the way perfumes have a tendency to thicken your soap butter, so also in your liquid soap, but not all perfumes do this. If you don't want your perfume to thicken your liquid soap, you can always test it in a small batch first before pouring into the main batch. But for me, this thickness is okay because at times it will still cut again and become light even before you package. And I like the color of my soap. It looks like liquid honey. Okay. I love it so much. I'll be testing the final pH of my product before packaging, okay? A liquid castile soap is supposed to have a pH of 7. This is more gentle on the skin than bar soap that has an alkaline pH, okay? And as you can see, if you look closely, mine is exactly at pH of 7. Look at the color, color intensity. It is pH of 7. If you don't know how to adjust your ph i have several videos on which i've talked about that or if you want i can still make a video on it so my liquid castle soap is ready